Welcome to Biofuels Academy. This video is made available as part of the Biofuels Education Project, funded by the National Science Foundation and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. In this video, we want to illustrate the process of liquefaction. If the feedstock of liquefaction consists of high moisture wood or municipal solid wastes, it is necessary to dry the feedstock in order to increase the reactor capacity and efficiency. On the other hand, grading dry wood to a fine powder is necessary to facilitate pumping wood oil slurry. In the blender, the dried and ground wood or other biomass is mixed with oil to form slurry with up to 30% solid content. For initial setup, entrancy oil is used. After the plant is in operation, oil produced in the process is recycled for slurry preparation. One of the commonly used catalysts is the 20% sodium carbonate solution. The resulting slurry is sent to a preheater by a high pressure slurry pump. In this step, the hosting gas containing hydrogen and carbon monoxide are compressed into the preheater. The slurry is heated to 330 degrees Celsius to achieve the reaction temperature. The next step is the liquefaction reaction. The reaction is carried out in a stirred pressure vessel. Reactions involved in the thermal chemical conversion of biomass are complex. It is difficult to determine exactly what reaction occurred during the liquefaction process. It takes place through a sequence of structure and chemical changes, which involves at least the following steps. 1. Cracking and reduction of polymers. 2. Hydrolysis of cellulose and hemicellulose to glucose. 3. Hydrogenolysis in the presence of hydrogen. 4. New molecular rearrangements through dehydration and decarboxylation. 5. Hydrogenation of functional groups. The crude oil is then sent to a cyclone. Water, unconverted biomass, suspended solids, and hydrogen sulfide are removed from crude oil in a cyclone. Finally, the produced oil is stored in an oil tank for further transportation and usage. Some references used in generating the videos are listed here. The members of the project gratefully acknowledge the financial support from the National Science Foundation and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Thank you for watching. Please visit our website at www.biofuelsacademy.org.